Okay, so we're trying to, we're trying to do a, a suspension day on the old XL175 Elsinore, and we're really excited about it. I got new fork seals, we tore it apart, and we do fork seals all the time. When I, when I uh, pull this little um, Allen nut out of here, pull your circ clips out of here, thoop, these come apart, no problem. You put your new seals in, these are different. These have a bizarre two-part seal in them, and one part came out just fine, the other part I can't get out for love or money. Show us what it looks like on the inside. So here's our, here's our problem. This, this uh, oh, I need a flashlight. Yeah. You can see in here this mangled up second fork seal that's down in here, which is also bad. Uh, I'm trying to pry it out without completely ruining the fork leg, and that's where I'm at right now. I'm trying to pry this out, because these should come out, and these haven't, they've seized in there. This is what a regular seal looks like. And it fits in there beautifully, but... This one came with like a two-part piece where we, we got the, the normal seal out, but now there's some inner rubber thing, and uh, that's what we're trying to figure out. That's the old dead leaky one. I gotta get this inner thing out without wrecking the fork leg. So if you can get that out, yeah. we should be able to just, uh, Put the new seal in, put these together, and everything should be good, right? And we'll have a win. Yeah, but worst case scenario, we screw these forks up so bad, we'll just buy new lowers. <laughs> Which wouldn't be the first time. <laughs> oh, you got it. <laughs> what is that thing? I don't know what that is. It's some kind of weird, bizarre... It's almost like there were two, like, not someone put a seal within a seal. It, it could be a past owner's mistake. Um, I don't know. Uh, either that or some really bizarre old 1970s like engineering. Double seal Double thing. seal crap. Yeah, but I got it out. And it's not too badly scarred. We might be okay. And the new seal should slip right in there. Yeah, I think we're good. Look at that. When I put a seal thing and smack that in there, it'll be... Yeah. Might be just right. So there's a million videos out there uh, explaining fork seal changes. Uh, I didn't want to have to show the whole process with this, but in case you're doing a stock 1974 XL175. There's a good chance that the forks are gonna be like that. That might have been factory. The weird like two seal combo thing that just didn't really work very well. So um, we weren't sure what to do and it would have been helpful if somebody had posted a video like this. So hopefully it can, we can help someone else. I think it's worth just digging out that that second seal. It's, it's not, it doesn't come out easy. Um, it, it, it's kind of below uh, part of like a metal barrier you know, it's not supposed to just slip out easy like a normal seal would. So, um, anyway, get all the rubber out of there, put the new seal in, everything should work out just fine. Yep. That's the other thing. Let me see that damping rod. Yeah. That's the other thing about this is normally on, in a fork, the other, you know, the, the top of the damping rod will have like a star shape or an Allen head that you can stick a tool down in there. You kind of have to have a specialized tool for it, or you can just stick like a broom handle down there and get it to hold still just enough to undo that Allen bolt on the bottom. But um, this is just a round, it's just like a washer basically, just a round shape. There's no tool that you could put down there that would hold it still. So um, we had some luck with, you know, just a broom handle and uh, a lot of pressure and tension, but um, man, these XL175 forks are the worst. Yes. If it weren't for wanting to keep this hub and rim, you know, this got a brand new tire on it. The hub's really nice. It's in really good shape. So if it weren't for that, we'd probably be finding some new 30 mil forks to put in this thing. For sure, because these are the weirdest fork legs I've ever worked with. Yeah. Anyway, let's put these forks back together and get this bike back. Yeah. So this is what that second seal looked like after we pulled it out. It's really strange. It's metal. It's not pure rubber. Uh, which makes me think that it was probably just a bad engineered 1970s part before things got better. Um, but I don't know if, if there are any suspension experts out there that know what this is and, and know what we're doing wrong, please let us know. <laughs> but once we pulled, pulled the normal seal out and this one, the new seal fit just fine. So I don't think this is a necessary part that's supposed to stay in the fork leg. It won't fit with the mm -mm. that rubber in there. No. So the other leg had it as well, so it wasn't just some weird fluke. Um, that's probably a factory piece, but it needs to come out because the new seal won't fit with it in there. Yeah, the one-piece seals, which are a thousand times easier to work for, work with, 
they don't need this all this double stuff so i'm gonna have to be a caveman and gouge that out of there again yeah that's the conundrum is there's no easy way to get it out because uh -uh. it's being blocked by that little metal ridge yep it's not like a normal seal where you can just put a little leverage to it it'll come out no and it's and it's got a metal backing to it that you have to literally uh crush and pull out oh you got it yes so again no way to get it out without mangling it but it's out and i didn't kill the forks leg too much just just a little sweet i think we're all right and that one's a little less mangled you did yep. good yep.